What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome to my review of the 2017 edition. Uh, this is by Sim Racing Studios. This is the Formula Hybrid. So uh, this is the newest F1 car. It's very uh, identifiable because of that giant wing uh, behind the driver uh, that is uh, mounted parallel to the travel of the car. Uh, it's a, certainly a new look. Um, it's funny how fast we grow accustomed to it, but if you look at a uh, like a 2015 or something like that F1 car, it just looks so uh, strange compared to what we're used to seeing just three races into the F1 season. So um, if you've been watching Formula One this year, there are three races in, as I mentioned, and um, this car is just blowing people's minds. A lot of people are, a lot of purists are sort of critical of it because, of course, you know, we're, we're in the Kerr's era and uh, heat reclaim and that kind of thing. And uh, so there's a lot of technology involved here, uh, DRS, which is assisting the drivers. But um, I'm still absolutely loving it. And I think this is a beautiful piece of engineering. And uh, we're going to take it around Spa. I've got it set up. This is the uh, Lewis Hamilton skin. The skins are available for free off race department. But uh, this is a paid mod. I believe I paid four euro for it. Uh, race Sim Studios. Um, hit those guys up. Um, this is making a lot of waves. Some people have called it the greatest uh, Assetto Corsa mod, mod ever. And uh, you'd be... <laughs> uh yeah i don't know uh even what's in its class probably the 787b mod uh but um now that that's part of assetto corsa officially uh, i think this goes as the best standing uh assetto corsa mod so without any further babbling let's get on course uh, at spa so as you can hear um it's a different sound. Um, I, I uh, did a review of the F2004, and uh, although I didn't, uh, uh, I didn't do too well on the Nurburgring there. I kept locking up the fronts. Um, still, what I took away from that was the uh, the sound. I thought, thought the sound was tremendous. This one, it's very accurate. It's very very accurate. If you've been following the Formula 2017 season, it does seem. Uh, um, very accurate to what we're hearing on the course, um, but it doesn't have that wow factor. But uh, that's that's not Race Sim Studios' fault. Uh, they've they've done it very very accurately. So um, let's get out there. So this is a stock setup. The only thing I am going to change on this car, as you can see in the top of your screen, is the curves. I'm going to have it set up for Spa. Old tires, so I'm gonna back off a bit through all rouge, but this thing handles it no problem. Uh, I took the uh, Formula 643 uh, through all rouge in a, in a different review video, which uh, if you check it out, you'll probably have a laugh at me going through all rouge because I just couldn't nail it, just couldn't get the timing down. But this thing is just like nothing else. Wow, that handling is amazing. I, I missed my breaking point there and still didn't get punished. eight gears in this thing actually and uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of course uh, uh, Formula One is very secretive with their numbers but uh, it's estimated that the uh, the engine itself which is a 1.5 liter V6 has somewhere in the neighborhood of 350 horsepower and the Kurs is adding about 200 to that so uh, still a very powerful machine and again just those wings um, add so much like it's easily the most drivable uh, Formula One car um, according to those in the know. And you can't see it right now but I have this giant smile on my face because this thing is just so much fun. It just does exactly what you want it to. And I had trouble in the past with this corner, so I'm gonna just leave it in seconds so I don't spin out. And not quite enough. Did it safely. I've uh, spun out so many times in that corner, I don't care to mention it.
That lap's not going to count. The track cone has been detected. Doing the car a disservice there. First corner. Too wide. All right, let's go all out in our rouge here. Six, seven, and here we go. Excellent. So a little over 300 kilometers an hour there uh, into the DRS zone. Still going uphill, up into eight. And uh, you'd want to tweak this a bit because obviously we're wasting a lot here by not having, uh, not using all of eight gear. But uh, anyway, we're here to focus on the car, and the car itself is fantastic. I agree, this is the greatest mod ever to hit a set of Corsa. It's just that good. Handles extremely well, but you saw me in that one corner. It does punish if you get too wild, so I expect that's kind of uh, similar to what we're seeing in the real life F1 season. Not enough praise for this car. Holy, so good. So shout out to the guys at Race Sim Studios. Um, you guys crushed it. Uh, four euro, I believe, is the going price for this thing. Get out there, get this car, add it to your collection. You will not regret it, I promise you. On their behalf, I'm giving a, giving a money back guarantee. Yeah, there's no truth to that. But anyway, get out there, buy it, enjoy it. Add it to your collection. Don't be the guy without it. Lots to love in this car. Super fast, super fun. Somehow drivable. All right, guys. This has been Mike for Simray Studio. Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. I don't work for them quite yet. Uh, this has been Mike for Sim Racing 604. Thank you for watching this review video. Um, I'm sure we're all in agreement here that this mod is amazing, but uh, if you have anything else to add, please leave it in the comments below. Please hit like if you're in agreement with what I'm saying here, and hit subscribe. We've got a lot more paid mods to go through. Um, once again, this is Mike with a giant smile on my face, enjoying the heck out of this car. Take care, and we'll chat again soon on another review.